Who's the best modern day manager? This is a question that's been asked through generations of baseball eras, and today it's between Joe Torre and Bruce Bochy. Bochy, the mastermind behind the even-year Giants dynasty, led San Francisco to World Series glory in 2010, 2012, and 2014. But here's the kicker. Despite these epic triumphs, he stepped into the 2018 season with a career record teetering just two games below 500. Amazingly, after a few seasons away from baseball, he came back with the Texas Rangers and won another title in 2023. But if you flip the script to Joe Torre, the man who breathed new life into the Yankees' legacy, you'd see that before his Bronx tale, Torre's managerial career resembled a roller coaster ride. Clocking in with a pre-Yankees record of 894 and 1003, he was swimming in a sea of a 471 winning percentage. Not exactly Hall of Fame material, right? In those 14 years, he barely sniffed the postseason air, making it just once and getting KO'd without a single win in that 82 NLCS. But then, things would soon turn around suddenly, and he's now in the best manager conversation. So who's the better of these two? Well, let's find out. Before Torrey's masterful years with the Yankees, he was a baseball prodigy born and bred in the vibrant streets of Brooklyn, New York. At 20 years old, Torrey made his entrance into the big leagues on September 25, 1960. He had a playing career of highs and lows, including a standout year as the NL MVP in 1971. In 1977, he stepped onto the field not just as a player, but as the first player manager in the majors since 1959. Fast forward to 1982, and Torrey was making waves as a manager. Named the AP Manager of the Year, he was the toast of the town for leading the Atlanta Braves to a division title. With his strategic prowess and unmatched leadership, Torrey skillfully guided the Braves that year but ultimately didn't work out as the manager of the team. In 1996, he decided to come back as a manager, and it was this year that changed everything for Torrey and the New York Yankees. He became the 31st manager in Yankees team history, joining the ranks of legends like Casey Stengel, Yogi Berra, and Billy Martin. With Torrey at the helm, the Yankees shattered a decades-long drought, clinching their first World Series title since 1978. His stellar leadership earned him the coveted title of Sportsman of the Year by the Sporting News, a testament to his undeniable impact on the game. And let's not forget his Co-American League Manager of the Year award from the Baseball Writers Association of America. He was simply great at his job. Torrey wasn't content with just one taste of victory, so in 1998, he led the Yankees to an astonishing 114 wins during the regular season, setting an American League record. And when it came time for the World Series, the Yankees swept the San Diego Padres in a four-game showdown, solidifying their dominance on the diamond. Unsurprisingly, Torrey once again clinched the title of American League Manager of the Year, cementing his status as a top manager. Under Torrey's guidance, the Yankees enjoyed an unprecedented run of success, making the playoffs every single year of his tenure. Now, let that sink in. Every. Single. Year. Torrey led the Yankees to an astonishing six World Series appearances during that 12-year span, clinching four World Series championships along the way. And his most recent triumph with the team? Well, it was a glorious victory in the year 2000, solidifying Torrey's status as a managerial mastermind and a true icon of the game. After leaving the Yankees, he took the reins as the 26th manager in Los Angeles Dodgers history, bringing his wealth of experience and championship pedigree to the West Coast, where he continued to record some fantastic performances. Unsurprisingly, his success was rewarded when he was inducted into the Baseball Hall of Fame in 2014. Manager Bruce Bochy has slowly built his status as a legend among legends. With three World Series titles under his belt, he had cemented his legacy as one of the best. He continued to build on that legacy with the Texas Rangers in 2023 by delivering another World Series title. Let's take a moment to marvel at the numbers, including 2,003 victories, which is the 11th most by any manager in Major League history. And with 4,032 games managed, Bochy stands tall as a 7th most season skipper in Major League lore. Additionally, he's the only manager in Major League history to rack up 900-plus wins with not one but two different franchises. Plus, with his 951 victories in San Diego and a whopping 1,052 in San Francisco, he's etched his name alongside the likes of Hall of Famer John McGraw in the history of Giants greatness. And talk about all-stars, Bochy's got him in spades. He's managed four all-star teams and been a part of the coaching staff eight times. From Taiwan in 2011 to Team France in the 2020 WBC qualifying tournament, Bochy's leadership knows no bounds. From the dugout to the record books, Bruce Bochy's journey is the stuff of baseball legend. 
Named the 38th manager in Giants franchise history and 16th in San Francisco history on October 27, 2006, Bochy didn't waste time making a statement. Under his expert guidance, the Giants clinched not one, not two, but three World Series titles in 2010, 2012, and 2014. That 2010 victory wasn't just any win. No, it was a historic triumph, marking the Giants' first championship in San Francisco history and their first overall since the New York Giants' glory days in 1954. He led his teams to a staggering four pennants and three World Series championships, boasting an impressive 44-33, 571 record in postseason play. When the stakes were high and the pressure was on, Bochy delivered, time and time again. And in a stunning comeback, Bruce Bochy emerged from retirement to take the helm as the Texas Rangers' new manager on October 21, 2022. But this wasn't just any comeback. It was a chance to add another chapter to his storied career. And on June 4, 2023, Bochy made history once again, notching his 2,041st career victory and surpassing the legendary Walter Alston for 10th place on the all-time managerial wins list. On October 23, 2023, he led the Texas Rangers to a thrilling victory over the Houston Astros in Game 7 of the American League Championship Series, punching their ticket to the World Series for the third time in franchise history. It was his third different Major League franchise he had led to the World Series, cementing his status as a managerial genius. The sweetest victory of all came on November 1, 2023, when Bochy's Rangers clinched the 2023 World Series title, defeating the Arizona Diamondbacks in Game 5 of the series. In doing so, Bochy etched his name in the record books once again, becoming the fifth manager to win a World Series with multiple teams. And if that wasn't enough, he made history as the first coach to beat a team in the World Series and then manage that same team to a championship. Before his tenure with the Giants, he made his mark as the skipper of the San Diego Padres from 1995 to 2006. His 951 victories with the Padres remain the most in franchise history. And let's not forget his historic feat as the first Padres manager to earn NL Manager of the Year honors in 1996, leading the club to their first NL West title since 1984. And way before he was calling the shots from the dugout, Bochy was making waves as a catcher on the diamond. Over nine major league seasons, he played for the Houston Astros, New York Mets, and San Diego Padres. No doubt about it, Torrey and Bochy are two titans of baseball, each leaving an imprint on the sport with their strategic brilliance, leadership acumen, and unparalleled success on the diamond. While both managers boast impressive resumes and a knack for guiding their teams to victory, they also bring their own unique style and approach to the game. These two managers boast impressive managerial careers and achievements. Torrey led the New York Yankees to four World Series championships, 1996, 1998, 1999, 2000, during his tenure from 1996 to 2007. He also guided the Yankees to six American League pennants and 10 AL East division titles. Plus, his success extended beyond the Yankees as he managed the New York Mets, Atlanta Braves, and St. Louis Cardinals earlier in his career. He accumulated 2,326 career wins, placing him among the top 10 winningest managers in Major League history. On the other hand, Bruce Bochy carved out his own legacy with the San Diego Padres and San Francisco Giants and Texas Rangers. Most recently, Bochy led the Texas Rangers to the 2023 title after leading the Giants to three World Series titles, 2010, 2012, 2014, and four National League pennants during his tenure from 2007 to 2019. Prior to joining the Giants, he managed the Padres from 1995 to 2006, where he amassed 951 victories, the most in Padres franchise history at the time. Bochy's career total of 2,003 wins ranks him among the top 15 winningest managers in Major League history. Now, when considering the context of their successes and the challenges they faced, both Torrey and Bochy navigated unique circumstances throughout their managerial careers. Torrey faced the pressure of managing the most storied franchise in baseball history, the New York Yankees, where expectations for success are always sky high. He managed during a time of significant roster turnover and media scrutiny, yet he maintained a calm demeanor and fostered a winning culture within the clubhouse. Bochy, on the other hand, faced the challenge of leading smaller market teams like the San Diego Padres and the San Francisco Giants. Despite operating with smaller budgets and fewer star players compared to the Yankees, Bochy maximized the talent at his disposal and consistently fielded competitive teams. He excelled at making strategic in-game decisions and fostering a cohesive team atmosphere, which was crucial to the Giants' success in multiple World Series championships. Finally, determining the superior modern-day baseball manager between Torrey and Bochy can only be subjective at best. It depends on various factors. 
Both managers achieved remarkable success and left lasting legacies in the sport. Torrey's impact on the Yankees' dynasty of the late 1990s and early 2000s, along with his overall win total and longevity in the game, solidifies his status as one of the greatest managers of all time. However, Bochy's ability to lead small market teams to World Series championships and his knack for making strategic decisions in high-pressure situations cannot be overlooked too. Ultimately, both Torrey and Bochy have had a significant impact on the game of baseball, and their contributions to the sport will be celebrated for generations to come. But we will also like to read your thoughts in the comments section. Who do you think is the better modern-day manager between these two?